Hello, and welcome to Getting Started with STM32 Nucleo Power Shield. ST has developed a standalone solution which is able to make real time power measurements on several platforms, such as the STM32 L476G eval board, STM32 L476G Discovery, STM32 L496ZGP Nucleo 144 with SMPS, Nucleo STM32 L476RG 64 pins, or Nucleo STM32 L011K4 32 pins board. This affordable solution allows you to make measurements from 100 nanoamps to 50 milliamps with very high accuracy and without ammeter or oscilloscope. Two modes exist. Standalone mode. Coupled with an STM32 Nucleo target board, the X-Nucleo LPM01A expansion board is able to make measurements autonomously. PC mode. This solution combines the X-Nucleo LPM01A expansion board with an intuitive PC software tool. STM32 Cube Monitor Power is able to provide a graphical visualization of acquisitions. Regarding standalone mode, simply connect the power shield to the STM32 L476Z P board, whose power consumption is measured through the Arduino connectors. Power shield is powered by USB. We can see the power shield starting up. The consumption, the ULP bench score, temperature, energy, and we can also define parameters such as voltage and static or dynamic power. Now, if PowerShield is connected to a Windows, Linux, or Mac OS computer, it will be able to drive acquisitions. Here is the PC tool at the opening with the power shield connected through USB. Launch the COM port detection and select the power shield on which we will take control by pressing the Take Control button. From then on, the power shield LCD shows Controlled by Host and the PC will drive it. Now we can set various parameters, such as the acquisition frequency from 1 Hz to 100 kHz, the acquisition duration, STM32LX power supply, which can be varied from 1.8 to 3.3 volts, and many other settings explained in the user manual. Here, for example, frequency sampling is set at 100 kHz, the voltage at 3 volts, and this during 10 seconds. Now, let's play the system by clicking on the Start Acquisition button. The graph is displayed in real time, and it enables the user to measure from 100 nanoamps to 50 milliamps. At the end of the process, the data can be saved for further analysis. Minimum and maximum current values, as well as the energy consumed during the acquisition period, can be displayed. We can zoom in to different parts of the graph. It is also possible to make a ULP bench measurement. To do this, you must have loaded a ULP bench firmware on the STM32LX board and then run the test. This test can be carried out with different supply voltages and several cycles in order to improve the accuracy. Here is the cumulative energy graph and at the end of the test, the ULP bench estimate score is displayed.